Hello and welcome to the 5 Minute Sound Designer, where I'll show you some new sound design techniques in about 5 minutes or less. In this video, I want to talk about how music and sound actually gets into the game itself. Now, the old fashioned way is to create a bunch of music, create a bunch of sound, and then send it off to the programmer and tell them to manually program it in. That's still pretty common, that happens a lot, and depending on the game engine, you may have no choice. But in this video, I wanna talk about what's known as audio middleware. And this piece of software I'm in right now is one such piece of audio middleware known as FMOD Studio, F-M-O-D Studio. And what this allows us to do as musicians or sound designers is set up interactive sound and music without necessarily needing to program it all in by hand. So a brief, broad overview is that we can set up things like interactive music that changes depending on the game state, all the way to randomized sound effects like footsteps or gunshots that sound different every time the player triggers that event. So right here in this project that I worked on on a game called Infinifactory a little while ago, it was a puzzle game, I have a bunch of footsteps. This is just one of the many types of sound effects we have in the game. Now, we don't want the same footstep triggering over and over and over again, so what I can do here is drop four in. In this case, you can see in the bottom, I have four different footsteps. And now that I have four in and set it up to play randomly, I can just hit play, and every time I hit play, it'll pick a random footstep. So in-game itself, we're gonna hear four different footsteps trigger between one another, and we won't hear the same one twice in a row. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but because it's so easy for us to set up, we can do this for many, 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 many different sound effects. We can also play with things like ambiences. So you can see this kind of blue zone we have up here is a loop region. So we can tell it, all right, play this first little intro of the ambience and then loop this blue section here forever, so long as the player is within this alien spaceship. So I'll just keep looping that ambience over and over based on what I set up here. So you can do a lot more. There's also musical things. A tutorial for these pieces of software is beyond the scope of this video, but I want to introduce you to these because most people don't know they exist. A lot of developers don't know they exist and they're extremely useful and can save a lot of time. So this is just one piece. We're going to jump over to another common piece of audio middleware called WISE, and I'll show you that the effects, the essential results, are the same thing, but the interface is quite different. All right, so here we are in WISE, spelt with two W's, W-W-I-S-E. Again, it's similar to FMOD in that it allows us to do interactive music and sound without necessarily needing to program it at all in manually, but you can see it looks completely different from FMOD. The results are very similar, if not the same, but it allows us to do things like randomized footsteps, interactive music, all the same good stuff you saw in FMOD. So some people have a preference of Wise, some people have a preference of FMOD, it's all good. They both do similar stuff. So just to show you a similar idea of FMOD, we have a sample project here that you can actually download for free from the Audio Kinetic Wise website. And I'm just going to show you that footsteps work in much the same way. So over here on the left, I'm going to open up this footsteps container. And you can see here we have something called footsteps type. And down here at the bottom of the screen, we can do cool things like switch between what state we're in, crouching, running, or walking, and what material we're walking on. So let's say I'm running on concrete. Now when I hit play, every time it'll trigger a different running concrete footstep sound. Pretty straightforward. So if I am crouching on, let's say, gravel, it'll trigger a different crouching gravel sound every time. 
And essentially, this allows us to set this stuff up without, again, needing to tell the programmer, okay, here are five footsteps, please trigger them randomly each time and hope that it all works out. Because sometimes there are errors in the programming and errors on your end and all sorts of weirdness that can come up. So this can be a real huge time saver. So both of these pieces of software are free, both are Mac and PC compatible, though Wise's Mac compatibility is frankly very poor and half-assed. They didn't do a great job at all. So I recommend checking both of these out. They're both free to learn. They are both free to download from their respective websites, and it's a good idea to learn both. Both are very popular, both are extremely powerful, and I like working in both of them for different reasons. So check them out. Check the description below for some tutorials on how to work through these pieces of software. You can find their official tutorials on their official YouTube channels and on their websites. Very, very good stuff. And you can download sample projects as well that will get you familiarized on how to work with audio middleware. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my newsletter and to my YouTube channel where I put a new video out every single week to help you find a job in the game industry or help you learn some cool sound design techniques. So thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys next time.